Metro schools just returned to the classroom, but many will have to return home now after positive COVID cases and quarantines. Our Justin Beasley has the latest numbers and reaction from parents who call this alarming. Metro schools tells News 4 from August 9th to August 15th, 207 students have tested positive within the school district for COVID-19 in addition to 52 staff members as well. More than a thousand are in isolation as of last night. These numbers will be updated every Monday. We got reaction today as parents pick their kids up from Gower Elementary. It's alarming. I feel like my family and everyone that I know has taken every precaution they can to live life as normal as possible and be careful. Having school is great for me. It allows me to do more work, it allows me to provide for my son and the rest of my family, but at what cost? We also asked parents what it would take to remove their kids from the classroom this year. We're taking it very day by day. It's hard to take it any further because everything changes so quickly. I don't think I'm going to pull my kids out of school. Now, if it starts getting really scary, like the numbers really start skyrocketing, then I think that that would be a conversation my husband and I would have. But for now, I think it's more important for them to get out of the house, try to have some normalcy. Staff members who are self-isolated will still have a chance to work from a remote setting. Students will have the same opportunity as well. As long as they are active and participating in remote instruction, they will be counted present. In Nashville, I'm Justin Beasley, News 4.